In today's video, I am going to be going over drills and strategies where you can shoot the basketball faster. We all get into those situations where we might get our shot blocked quite often, or we just cannot get our shot off fast enough with closeout defenders. So in today's video, I am going to be breaking down different drills and different strategies that you can use so that you can shoot the ball faster so that you can actually get your shot off in game, but also not get blocked. So let's get down. Let's check this out really quickly. If you want to be able to shoot the ball from further away, make sure to go check out my shooting workout that is down in the description below. So in this first drill, it's just stationary shooting, but watch how David is shooting the ball. There is zero drop. There is zero dip in his shot. This is because when you can catch that ball and go straight up into your shot, you're going to have a much faster release. So you can actually train this by shooting close to the basket. First here we're doing roughly around 15 feet out, and then we move out to the three-point line. At the three-point line, same idea, very little dip. We do not want to dip that ball down to our waist or down to our knees, and we're going to then extend our range out. You do not want to start from further away. You want to start close to the rim, maybe five feet, extend to 15 feet, then out to the three, then out to the FIBA three, and then deeper and deeper so that you can build the strength on being able to just keep that ball nice and high and not dip the ball. The dip can slow it down, but it also gives you more power, so you're going to need to use more legs. This next drill is going to help you with shooting with balance, and this is actually a very important drill. You can use this not just to be able to build your shot faster, but to have a more balanced shot overall. You are going to be sprinting backwards away from the basket. You're going to then catch that ball and go straight into a shot. You get your feet set, and that is going to allow you to be able to stay balanced. In theory, you could even go backwards faster than what David is doing right here, but the idea is just to get your feet set after sprinting backwards, and this is going to give you a more balanced shot, and having a balanced shot is going to allow you to make more shots overall. Now, in our last and final drills, we're going to go through the same leg twice, and then we're going to, then we're going to gather that ball between each cross, that is going to help us be able to go from across into the gather. But then on the second time going through, you're going to get your feet set and pull for the shot. The whole idea is to learn how to set your feet faster and to be able to pull for that shot after setting your feet. This is a very important drill and of course we're trying to extend David's range so we are moving out to that NBA 3 range just because if you want to be able to have a shot that is more consistent you are going to train at distance as long as you don't change your form and this is what's going to allow you to extend your range but also get a more accurate shot and a higher percentage shot when you start moving back closer to the basket. There's a the big reason why a lot of NBA teams are now adding a four-point line in their practice facilities. That is because by now learning how to shoot from further away, those closer shots are going to be much easier. I hope that these basketball shooting drills help you shoot the basketball faster. If they do, hit that like button and subscribe and make sure to go check out my shooting workout that is down in the description below if you want to extend your range and shoot from further away like David is. Anyways, hit that like button, subscribe. I'll see you guys again in my next video.